Howard Phillips Lovecraft's influence on popular culture, including video games, has been substantial. Over the last 15-20 years, numerous games have drawn inspiration from Lovecraft's work, typically involving themes of cosmic horror, eldritch creatures and madness. And as it is the Halloween today, by the way, hope you are feeling creepy already. I've decided to examine Lovecraft's influence of the game industry and what games uh, has uh, these themes uh, of his uh, in them. So, I hope you will enjoy this video and you will like what you will see. Consider dropping a like, the precious like, write a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Let's begin. Avid readers of H.P. Lovecraft's work are familiar with themes of madness, fear of the unknown and supernatural forces beyond human comprehension. Lovecraft's unique subgenre of horror fiction has been an inspiration for a wide variety of media, with Lovecraftian elements appearing in novels, movies, comic books, cartoons and video games. Many modern horror writers have cited Lovecraft as one of their primary influences and dozens of video game developers have been inspired by his works. So join me into this dark and creepy but very interesting Lovecraftian world. Howard Phillips Lovecraft was an American author of fantasy, horror and science fiction who is now widely recognized as one of the most influential and widely read authors of popular fiction of all time. Lovecraft has a massive and devoted following of readers who have been captivated by his gripping tales of supernatural. Lovecraft is considered to be an exemplar of unique American strain of gothic fiction that can trace its roots back to Edgar Allan Poe. Lovecraft's major inspiration and invention was the cosmic horror. Life is incomprehensible to human minds and the universe is fundamentally alien. Those who genuinely reason, like his protagonists, gamble with sanity. Lovecraft has developed a cult following for his Cthulhu Mythos, a series of loosely interconnected fictions featuring a pantheon of human nullifying entities and as well as the Necronomicon, a fictional grimoire of magical rites and forbidden lore. His works were deeply pessimistic and cynical, challenging the values of the Enlightenment, Romanticism and Christianity. Lovecraft's protagonists usually achieve the mirror opposite of traditional gnosis and mysticism by momentarily glimpsing the horror of ultimate reality. His work was so unique that many still use the term Lovecraftian horror to describe the subgenre cosmic horror found under the classification of horror fiction. We often use interchangeably these subgenre terms to describe horror fiction that focuses on the unnotable and uncomprehensible. Unfortunately, and all too common for geniuses in his own time, Howard Lovecraft is far more well known and represented postmortally than he ever was in life. In fact, after his death, Howard Phillips Lovecraft genius went on to be recognized and to influence later generations of writers, filmmakers, artists, poets and even video game designers. Today many consider Howard Lovecraft to be one of the most significant authors of his genre in the 20th century. And now let's dive into the main theme of the video, Lovecraft influence on the game industry. The Lovecraftian theme is exceptionally popular in games due to several compelling reasons. Eternal fear of the unknown. Lovecraft's words emphasize the concept of cosmic horror where humans are insignificant in the face of 
unimaginable and incomprehensible entities. This fear of the unknown taps into a fundamental human instinct and it's a rich source for creating tension, dread and suspense. The great example here is the darkest dungeon. Dark fantasy roguelike scene flares leading a team of dungeon explorers deeper and deeper into the eldritch horror that lies within. The game's Lovecraftian inspired elements come from the game's killer atmosphere, monster design and insanity checks. One of the biggest challenges players face within the game is its punishing insanity levels. Players have to deal with masochism, fear, irrationality and other quirks their team is afflicted with that only get worse the deeper they progress into darkness without knowing what they will find next. It's a frightening but fair difficulty and stellar atmosphere that is sure to leave players chilled to their bones. Unfathomable Entities Lovecraft's creatures, especially the famous mollusk-like deities of his Cthulhu mythos, were utterly alien in every respect. Whereas traditional anthropomorphic monsters are routinely driven by easily identifiable concerns, hunger, lust, revenge, the motivation behind the actions of Lovecraftian creatures transcends human attempts at understanding it, as does their disposition toward our kind. To the godlike beings of the Cthulhu mythos, we are neither prey nor threat. We are bugs, at best inconsequential, at worst a mildly bothersome formality, just like in the sunless seas. It's December 1887. London has become fallen London after sinking into an underworld place called the Neath. The surrounding ocean is underground and completely uncharted. You play as the captain of the steamer and your goal is to keep your crew alive and try to make a name for yourself as you explore this vast ocean. Needless to say, the ocean has numerous hidden terrors, including Lovecraftian monsters and otherworldly structures. If you're not careful, you could lose your entire crew and the captain grows less sane the deeper you venture. If everyone dies, you can try again, but the islands will be rearranged, changing your experience on the next playthrough. Intriguing Mythos Lovecraft created a detailed and interconnected mythos with ancient godlike entities, forbidden knowledge and hidden cults. This mythos offers game developers a well-established universe to draw inspiration from, enabling them to craft unique and intricate stories. The good example here will be the Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. The world's greatest detective is bored with his regular cases with small-time criminals. He looks for a case with larger stakes, and he founds one with probably the highest stakes ever. When investigating a string of kidnapping, he discovers that they are tied to a cult that is trying to summon Cthulhu. Suddenly, it's not just 19th century London that he is trying to save, but the whole world. The game's creators have created a tense environment that focused on the growing tension between Holmes and the evil cult who have an obsession with the Lovecraftian creature. It makes for an atmospheric experience with a strong sense of dread. Psychological Horror Lovecraftian themes often explore psychological horror such as madness and paranoia. Games can delve into the fragility of the human mind, creating intense and immersive experiences that challenges players' sanity and get them through such experiences. And that is one of the biggest advantages of the games, to my mind. 
they can immerse you in the experience that are unique for you and can shake your perspective on some things. Good games make you think. Just like the Call of Cthulhu 2018. It's a semi-open world game that is all about the player being immersed in a role-playing scenario while curving a Lovecraftian world's horrors and was one of the most highly anticipated games of 2018. This psychological horror, based on Lovecraft's most famous short story, is a story that requires the player to be crafty and both stealth and investigative abilities while following the character of Edward Pierce. Edward is led into a world of horror unimaginable to the human mind while investigating the case. The game is based on the player's choices throughout the story with dialogue, exploration and events that will shape Edward's sanity in the game and the choices the player can choose from. Although this game haven't met the player's expectations, it still has this Lovecraftian horror story atmosphere and it's sometimes a little scary to play it. Variety of gameplay styles Lovecraftian themes are adaptable to various gameplay styles. They can be incorporated into survival horror, action-adventure, point-and-click genre, role-playing and even strategy games, offering versatility in game design. It's not a surprise really that lots of game developers were eager to penetrate their games with the dark, mysterious theme of the unknown, with a pinch of insanity. Perhaps one of the most notable of Craftian style game of the past few years is Remnant from the Ashes. It features decent co-op gameplay, a wide variety of fun to use weapons and interesting character customization system that allows players to tweak and tailor their characters to better suit their preferred playstyle. The wonderfully designed bosses are arguably one of the game's biggest selling points though, with each one providing a healthy amount of nightmare fuel. Sadly, the story can be a little generic in places and melee combat is pretty bad too, but those who enjoy taking down terrifying monsters should be able to overlook these flaws. Cult Followings Lovecraft works have a dedicated and passionate fanbase. Game developers know that incorporating Lovecraftian elements can attract both fans of the author's works and those new to the genre, ensuring a built-in audience. One of the ways to attract people to your game is through some famous authors or themes. A good example here is Bethesda's single-player adventure Call of Cthulhu – Dark Corners of the Earth. An incredible infusion of Lovecraft mystery directly adapted from the source material, the game sees the player as a private detective investigating a strange coastal town and the disappearance of the people within it. The game starts off at slow atmospheric pace before quickly ramping up the mystery to involve cults, fish people and otherworldly creatures. As the game progresses, it certainly shows its age, and Cthulhu is defeated admittedly a bit too easily, but ultimately it is one of the most interesting adaptations to have been released. Loss of Sanity Although sanity and the lost thereof uh, as a simple narrative trope is fairly commonplace, instituting it as a quantifiable attribute that slowly erodes as the player encounters uh, fragments of a hidden, darker reality indicates a focus on the mental effects of such revelations that is distinctly Lovecraftian mirroring the fate of several of the protagonists from his novels. One of the most influential horror games of the past decade, influenced by the Lovecrafts, 
Amnesia, The Dark Descent, is who gamers have to thank for survival horror as we know it today. This is a game that often ranks at the top of the charts for the scariest games ever made and for good reason. The horror in Amnesia clearly draws on the Lovecraftian mythos. In this game and its sequels, players quickly realize they are dealing with otherworldly cosmic horror. The crunts and brutes beneath the manor are nothing compared to the dark mysterious Daniel made himself forget. Furthermore, the direct counterplay of insanity within the game is an obvious call to Lovecraft. See too many horrors and Daniel will be unable to move, literally frozen with horror and lost sanity. Not very helpful when gamers are running away from monsters. Keep that in mind. As I conclude our dark and mysterious journey through Lovecraftian gaming, it's clear that Howard Philip Lovecraft's cosmic horror has left an indelible mark on the gaming world. From the eldritch nightmares to the forbidden knowledge, it's a theme that continues to captivate and terrify players and game developers. Of course, these are not all of Lovecraftian games I've mentioned, there are much, much more. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration of the Lovecraftian realms within gaming and have discovered some new titles to plunge into. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your fellow investigators and subscribe to stay tuned. Have you encountered other Lovecraftian games you liked more? Share your experiences and recommendations in the comments below. Let's keep the cosmic horror discussion going. Happy Halloween everyone. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Until the next time and remember, keep your lanterns lit, your sanity intact and your save files backed up. Stay safe, stay healthy and remember, never stop exploring the unknown.